Okay, so we are here today, Chris and I, um, out at the Rondout Creek. Today, we are gonna be doing full bass fishing, and I'm learning from Chris the tricks of the trade, and I'm really excited. Apparently, rainy weather is good, even though we're just preparing to get totally soaked, but it should be really fun. So it looks like we're ready to go, so I'm going. there is just um, putting a hook on for me. I don't know how to tie the string yet. I'm learning. Um, but hopefully we catch something. How's it going? <laughs> good. Almost there. <laughs> okay. It's good, I guess. This I am contemplating really throwing on something lighter. Oh, rather than this? Because of the sky color. Okay. What, what it's color the green is one. I might throw on a yellow tail. We're going to start off with some soft plastics. Okay. Um, Usually soft plastics, you're going to get a lot of luck where the current comes into the deeper sections okay. of water. It's called the tail out. So basically, the current tails out into the deeper, moves slower. The fish like to hang out there okay. um, because the bait fish wash down oh, and they're gotcha. waiting for the bait fish. And then they grab them. Am I using this rod or that rod? Yeah, you can okay. use uh, this rod. It's my uh, Shack S. Pierre. <laughs> Sweet. You can't right. read. That says Shakespeare. Yeah, go ahead. Uh -oh. Yeah, but I'm going to hit you if I... We, you did... Switch sides. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just go... <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, let it drip. Yeah, okay. it's actually good. Try and release a little bit later so it goes farther. <laughs> yeah, nice cast. <laughs> So Chris and I have been engaged for, it's actually exactly a month today, right? 22nd. 22nd. Life has been very exciting. We live at two different places. So I go over and visit him and he comes and visits me. And the other week I went and visited his chemistry class and- Surprised me. Yeah, I surprised him. He was very surprised. It was awesome. <laughs> um, I'd only slept about three hours the night before, so. <laughs> yeah, but it was cool anyway. And. Um, it's kind of embarrassing because I actually never took chemistry in high school. Don't ask me how that happened. But um, so I actually sat through one of his classes and found it very interesting and informative. I learned a lot. One thing about Bruderhof engagements is it's a chance for the couple, so like us, to go around and get advice from older people like our grandparents and other older people and just get advice on life. And so what's some of the great advice we've gotten so far? So one piece of advice that we did get from my grandparents is that as time goes by, it's not about feelings. Yeah. Both of our yeah, grandparents yeah. have been married for a long time now. Yeah. So. 50 years in my grandparents this year and yours are like, what, 60, 62? Oh, yeah. 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 So I should know that. 63, you yeah. should. Chris, <laughs> come on. All right. So their point to us was that as time goes by, marriage has its ups and downs and maybe doesn't feel quite as beautiful and as perfect as it does right now, but uh, God helps you through it. Focus on him and it all works out. One thing that we can see in our grandparents is the beauty of faithfulness. And that definitely grows with time. So it looks like we're getting totally skunked here. So the camera's getting totally soaked and um, oh, gross. So I think I'm gonna turn the camera off but, and we're gonna practice a little bit of faithfulness in fishing. <laughs> So yesterday we were totally skunked, but today we're fishing at Chris's house and um, we're actually having some really good luck. So it's helpful to be persevering and faithful in fishing. <laughs> you want to let it go?